What's up guys and welcome back to LSJTV. Hopefully you enjoyed that little opening clip. It's kind of like a workout mix but kind of not. So uh, we actually went to Audi on the way home because we have zero food but not to worry by the time this video comes out I will have a brand new muscle food order. Might be in this video, might not be, you'll probably be able to tell by the title. So let's get into today's video guys. Drop it a like, sit back, relax, let's get it started. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, YouTube. It's been a very productive day with meetings. What? Oh yeah, check out our pick and mix. We treated ourselves to pick and mix after I had leg day. It's been a good day. I had dissertation. Hello? <laughs> oh look! Fancy you being here. That was, um, that was planned just so every single time I don't go, hello? Nope. So we have dinner on the go, we've got your typical bodybuilder meal, we're going to have rice which is on the go, uh, there's some chicken cut up in a bowl there, and we're just going to have it plain, no spices or anything like that. I don't actually have anything Halloweeny, so if we come, that Halloweeny, <laughs> if, we, if we come down here, what I've always done in the past is put my Trent Army stuff on, well actually, it's not even Trent Army, it's just, if you guys know Elliot Hulls, it's his strength camp vest. So if I can just find a white shirt, an old white shirt, I know I've got a couple. I've got one like this, this is an old bar crawl t-shirt. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna go with the ink t-shirt, but we'll find out a little bit later. I'll show you guys getting ready and stuff like that. I can turn into a makeup YouTuber show. Let's not do that. Dinner, we have gone for just some plain chicken cooked until it's slightly kind of charred on the outside. That is intentional, I promise. We've got some cheesy beans rather than just regular beans. Again, mixing it up, because actually we don't have any ketchup or other sauces to go with the plain rice. So put something to flavor the beans instead, and then that's gonna be my meal. Oh, right, so we decided to go with the ink therapy top, as you guys can see. This later is going to get covered in hopefully blood if we have some, if not it's going to be ketchup. This is my fancy dress stash. If you are at Trent and you don't have a fancy dress stash, what are you doing with your life? So here we go. I can't exactly remember, this is just what I've built up over the last couple of years. This is what Charlotte got me in first year. Uh, this top, that needs to go in the bin. That's uh, some ghoulish makeup that we didn't use. Bandana, braces, ah, red spray paint, that might come in handy. Okay, right. Let's do this. I'm not gonna put any, we've got these tattoos, but I think I'm gonna save these for my Trent Army night and everything like that. The Trent Army dead zombie thing. Um, because I've already got my own little battle scars from actually putting pizza in the oven. So uh, I thought I'd be sly and not tell the tubes about it. I thought, yeah, they won't care if I have a pizza, but what does he go and do? Burns himself with the oven tray, doesn't he? Yes, on the friggin' bicep. I know, ridiculous, right? <laughs> This dick. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This is, this is, what's the word? Creative. Abstract. This is abstract. This is, this is art when you think about it. I mean, you know. It's just art. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. A night out gone wrong. This is the student edition of a Halloween outfit. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're dressing up for this Halloween. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go off. We're going to a house party now. Halloween at university 2017. Let's go! Alright, good morning everyone. I am actually in town now. Last night was really good, but tonight is going to be the big one. We are going to CESU, dressing up in Trent Army, a dead Trent Army man. It's my favourite thing to do. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm, I'm wearing a vest, and I've run out of deodorant. I don't want to fucking freak everyone out, I don't want to stink everyone out and go waft. So I don't want to be the stinky guy, so I'm on my way into town to get some deodorant and some more stuff. Halloween on a budget, so I've got my backpack, so I don't have to pay for the bags. Did you just student discount? Done and dusted at a super drug. I actually asked if they had a student discount, because just like in business, in life, if you don't ask, you don't get. But they said no, so on to Audi. Audi as well, four pounds spent in Audi, four pound and nine pence, and I got two liters of mixer, 17p each, and what else did I get? I got meals that will last me three, 
three whole days. And so, well, three meals, three big meals. So basically what I'm trying to say to you guys is that even if you have to pay for your own food, if, even if you have to do absolutely everything for yourself, it doesn't have to be super, super expensive. You can go to places like Audi, you can go to places like Tesco's and get stuff for an absolute bargain. Now I know that mixer absolutely everywhere is not going to be 17p. That's the great thing about living near an Audi, it is 17p. But even if it's not near an Audi, you're near a Tesco, you're near an Asda, you're near a Sainsbury's, you can go and get a litre of mixer that will last you two, three whole nights at Pre's for 50p. The student life doesn't have to be expensive. It's just like last night. I cut up an old t-shirt instead of buying a new one. I just saving little bits here and there is where it counts, guys. That is how you live the student lifestyle on a budget. Hello? Nope. Okay, I'm about to jump in the shower and I haven't given you guys an honest physique update in quite a while. The bulk has been going for about six weeks now, so here we go. It's getting too steamy, so that's all you're going to get. Okay, that's better. showered up and ready now we're going to empty the bag ready for dinner because everyone's going to get here in a couple of hours we're all going to get dressed up and we're all going to have a good time so just to quickly show you what i picked up from audi and i got all of this for four pound and nine pence i got a tub of i got a, a chunky vegetable pasta sauce tin tomato onions pasta tomato puree two big mixers and some mints as well and all of that cost four pound and nine pence. So again, just showing you guys, if you're running low on food, like I've got a muscle food package coming tomorrow. This for now, we didn't have anything and this will last for three meals, if not four. So, you know, there is a way to get four pound and nine pence. That's like, works out at one pound a meal. Less than that, if you just count the mixer that I bought. So I'm gonna get cooking. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> Smashed it. All right guys, so the first part of the night is to put all the scars on. I've obviously got still my, uh, my little piece of bone there, but uh, that's my natural war wounds, and then I'm gonna put a few more of these on. What I'm gonna do is put on my strength camp vest. This is the OG of all outfits for me at uni. This is the first ever thing I wore for fancy dress, and this is the thing I've had for probably at least three, four, probably at least four years now. The next step is to put a little bit of paint on. Now this, again, this only costs about two pound. Uh, you can get it from like Poundland and stuff like that, but I actually got it from a shop that all French students love. That is Lovey Babes. If you know, you know. There's also no real sort of tactic to it. I just sort of go, oh yeah, there's a bit of a bold patch. Let's put some there. There's, there's, there's a bit of a bold patch. Let's put some there. There's no real pattern to it. That's just, it's just how it goes. Next step, hair and scars. Do I look dead yet? Final stage, drink. 